Alright, hello and welcome back to Vingroth Sea Wizard Adventures. Let me plug and unplug my mic. We beat uh, the Thieves Guild quest, which is pretty cool. We, uh, here, let me fix some. There we go, cool. So yeah, we, uh, we did the last great heist, which was awesome. Uh, we actually kept both the Air of Extrication and the Boots of Spring Hill Jack. How's it going, Phantom? Which was interesting, I didn't think that was gonna happen, but we survived the long fall, and, uh, <laughs> and for some reason we got the arrow back. I didn't think you could do that, but apparently you can. Now, there is apparently, or at least I have a mod installed that's supposed to add more to the Thieves Guild quest. So if I can, I'd like to see if I might be able to do that. Uh, great news, I've just received word that our members in Breville, um, have, uh, at Breville area have finished renovations on old headquarters. Uh, this must be how you start it. How's it going, Bakora? Uh, the old headquarters? It was a base of operations we used long ago, uh, but it deteriorated over the years and we ended up abandoning it. Uh, now it's up and running again, and they're in need of leadership and direction. Guildmaster, I recommend you take over operation there. Uh, you'll be in charge, uh, and you can help us establish presence in Pavilla area. I can stay here and message, uh, manage the waterfront safe house. Alright, cool. Sounds like a good idea. Great. Uh, the entrance is hidden in a small shop down, uh... Snow, uh, down by the road, uh, just west of Breville. Our mark, uh, mark it on your map. Shadow hide you. Okay, cool. I think we will. I just want to check this thing Shadow out. Hide you. For like, I don't know, ten minutes or so? Just see what it's like. I can't open this door. Apparently. It's kind of weird. But yeah, we will start Dark Brother today. I just wanted to see what this was all about. Look at... Look into my eyes, Arvon. <laughs> uh, we'll take Seville's stone, because why not? And transfer orders and all that, because that's some nice memorabilia right there. Cheap wine. We're good. We could put it in the new house. <coughs> Ow. How, how is it that I got hurt from, like, dropping from this far? <coughs> Yet I only lost a hundred health from that fall down... I don't even know. Will I ever do a 12 or 24 hour stream? I was thinking of it. I was thinking of it. I had the... Yeah. I have to find a nice time to do it though. And I'll be honest, like... I don't know when that's gonna happen. That closet just opened up by itself. Yeah, it's a, a Scurious Oblivion overhaul. It uh, it has this thing where basically it, it shows you what you've already looted, which is kind of nice. The fact that I can't get through this door is just freaking amazing. I guess you can't go through that door. How weird. I think there's a door over here I the can go out of. Though. Protects you. There we go. Don't worry, I can't do, go through that door. But yeah, I'll have to find some time. It's it's difficult. You know, having a job and everything. <laughs> you will, Bakora? Oh man, that's dedication. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to... Yeah. I'll hype it up for about a week if that happens. Hey, George Birchie, how's it going? But yeah, it, it, it might be a little while before I can do a 12 to... I would probably start off with a 12 hour stream, let's be honest. I don't know if I can handle a 24 hour stream. So, we'll start off with 12. Yeah, it's, yeah ex exactly. It's, it's tough, yeah. Especially if you, if you are, you know, working to find, you know, 12 to 24 hours. Plus, then that throws off your schedule for, you know, Monday. And Mondays always suck anyway. Ah, <laughs> well, here we are. Excuse me? Sir? Are you acting serious right now? Ow. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to figure that out. That fool. That poor, poor fool. Was he a broader battle mage? Hmm, interesting. I can see why they abandoned it. I think we, we can go in it, I guess. Wow, George Birchie, that's... Wow. 29. Yeah, that just goes to show. I'm really sorry to hear that, George. I hope this, this stream can cheer you up. There's a rat and like a dead body on the floor. I took care of that. Can I get the arrow back? No, apparently I broke it hitting that very small rat. Alright, so right now we're... Are these rats even hostile? Oh, my bad. These rats aren't even hostile. My bad, I'm sorry, rat. <laughs> A letter with her menace posting at the hunt recipe shopping list. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's talk to this dude, Big Tony. Who's really just... <laughs> this place is infested with rats. Oh my gosh. I killed Stuart Little for no reason. Hello there, my name's Tony, but people around here call me Big Tony. Uh, what can I get you? I'm with the guild. Armand sent me. Uh, shh, whisper. Yeah, I know who you are. It's an honor to meet you. The, the entrance is in the back. The entrance is in the back. Shadow hide you. <laughs> All right, so apparently there's an entrance in the back we can go to. Really? Like over here? Does he mean, like, all the way back here? I don't know. Uh, no, we're not playing, uh, more Oblivion today. We're, uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, normal modded Oblivion. Uh, but we're doing a modded quest line right now. Uh, or at least testing it to just see how it works. It's, a, an expansion on the Thieves Guild quest. Oh, really, Bacora? Alright, I might have to give it a try then. I was a little bit worried starting a 24-hour stream, but you know, once I find time then, I guess I'll, I'll have to plan it out. It'll probably have to be something like, I start Friday and pretty much go through all of Saturday, and then have Sunday to just sleep or something like that. That's probably how I arrange it. Entrance is in the back. Maybe he's actually talking about inside the building. I mean it's in the back. Just check on the map. I better look around. Oh really? That <laughs> that's all he gave me? Fantastic. Uh, man at the deli told me the entrance is in the back, I better have a look around. Hmm. Oh, ancient Akaviri Katana, it's cool. You did it that way? Yeah. We'll figure out a time at some point. I'm not sure when, though. You've done two 24-hour streams? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. I know, right? I 
Although I think if I did a 24 hour stream, I think I'd have to switch games from time to time. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, okay, Bakora, I gotcha. Is it... Blood Main Cave? No, that seems kind of weird that it'd be all the way back there. Oh, cool, cool. Underwater? Well, I'll tell you one thing, if I can't find this place very soon, we're just gonna start the Dark Brotherhood quest. Where's my eek? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, start off with Darkest Dungeon, then do some, uh... Well, actually, what's crazy is that, um... Elder Scrolls Online is gonna come out soon, which is gonna be insane. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, Darkest Dungeon, uh, Fault, and then Oblivion. But we'll have to see what happens, you know. I'm thinking Wednesday I might stream, um, Elder Scrolls Online. Then maybe ESO, yeah. Let's see how it works. Okay, I'm gonna try Toggle Collision. Oops, I Toggle Collision the Rat. Only because I wanna see... Okay. There's no, like, weird entrance, is there? I just wanna see. Okay, so it's not like you have to go underwater or something. I just want to check, because this thing is in the mountain, I just wanted to know if that was purposeful or not. There are barrels. How oh, very strange. Yeah, it comes up tomorrow, yeah. <clears throat> I'll have to figure out, like, do I have to camp out? What time is it in America? Um, well, right where I am, in the, oh, I'm on the East Coast, it's uh, 6.44 p.m. But yeah, I'm not sure. Am I gonna have to, like, stay up to, like, 12 tonight? Is it, like, a thing, like, at 12 it happens? I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright, well, he said around the back, and, uh, I'm not finding anything. So, I'm thinking we start Dark Brother Quest! Yep, I'm thinking we start the Dark Brother Quest. Unless, let me just go in here one more time. Toggle collision and see if it isn't like some sort of wall I have to break through or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. It's an arena lockbox. Well, it's, uh, not out here. It's the dead body then. It's just the dead body then. Alright. Well, I have no idea how to do this, and I'm not going to waste any more time trying to find out. <laughs> uh. Wow. But, uh, this is, um... In case you do want to look it up, it is, uh, Thieves Guild, uh, HQ... Unhealthy Competition is the name of the mod. I'm sure it's cool, but I can't be bothered right now. We'll just start the Dark Brother quest. Which means... I have to scroll way, way down here. To a knife in the dark. Alright. I have to find a man named Rufio and kill him. Alright, let's do it. Oh, thanks for the follow, Joe is crazy 23. Thanks. <laughs> I like that. Joe is crazy. Well, at least we know now, right? Oh, yeah, Meta Marker Revisited is so awesome. It really is. Okay, so there's a man named Rufio. Oh, there's no basement? 
Is he upstairs? I thought he was downstairs. do this. Let's see. Just open up a couple of these doors, see what we're working with. Hmm. He's in the cellar! <laughs> That's crazy. Joe's crazy. I thought he was down here. Don't mind me. Well, I did it. <laughs> the man named Rufio is dead. The next time I sleep in a location he deems secure, Lucy and Luchance will visit me uh, once more and uh, complete uh, my entrance into the Dark Brotherhood. Sweet. Yeah, I finished the Thieves Guild, yeah. You did that quest line a long, a long time ago, you remember some things? Cool. <laughs> Bacor, you're amazing. I have to kill him with the shank? Do I? Oh, yeah, yeah, we eventually did, yeah, finish the, that was the era of extrication, yeah. Well, I mean, this is my no melee playthrough. Does it actually say? Maybe that's like a bonus. Oh well. <laughs> let's sleep then. Uh, let's sleep for like three hours. In a dead man's room. Why not? We just killed him, might as well take a nap. <laughs> so, the deed is done. How do I know this? You will find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things, for you are now part of the family. Now what? Now, you embrace your fate. For the slaying of Rufio is the signing of a covenant. The manner of execution, your signature, Rufio's blood, the ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. You must now go to the city of Shadenhall, to the abandoned house near the eastern wall, into the basement, and attempt to open the black door. You will be asked a question, answer thusly, Sanguine, my brother. You will gain entrance to the sanctuary. Once inside, speak with Ochiva. We must now take our leave of each other, you and I. For there is much work to be done. I'll be following your progress. Welcome to the family. Sweet. Can I ask about werewolves? Uh, the Dark Brotherhood has, shall we say, uses for such creatures. If you are one, uh, we won't get angry. Oh, that's really cool. Awesome. You are now one with the Dark Brotherhood. Visit Ochiva at the Chaden Hall Sanctuary, and your new life <laughs> will begin. Cool, Bacor. Awesome. What DLC are you planning to do uh, next time? You, next time I play. <laughs> Dark Brotherhood quests are amazing. This is Dark Brother quests are probably one of the strongest quest line in the Elder Scrolls series. Actually, like this series of quests is amazing. It really is. I heard the shooting of an arrow. All right, let's continue. My bow skill, I think, is almost to level one hundred, which I'm very happy about. 
What level am I now? Oh, uh, gosh. My character must be level 32, 33 at this point. I mean, we're... My character is insanely powerful. I mean, just to give you a sense, let me show you. We have... Yeah, I'm level 33. I've got 800 magicka. 400 health. Um... Oh, my speed's been damaged. How'd that happen? But yeah, with some enchantments, my intelligence is fortified by 270. Uh, my agility's fortified beyond 100. Let's see. Yeah, my marksman's getting close. My marksman's getting close. But yeah, I'm a master of conjuration and destruction already. Uh, my alchemy's getting there. But yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Hey, Divine Fishy, how's it going? Yes, yeah, so that's that's what we're doing right now. Um, we're insane. I've got like a crazy, crazy bow that we got from um, Knights of the Nine Revelation. It's Oriole's bow, which I enchanted with some crazy crap. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. That's true, McCord, true. Yeah, I think of it that way, too. Yeah, I know. It's true. I don't know any quests in the Elder Scrolls like better than this quest. I mean, Shivering Isles quest line is pretty damn awesome. Let's let's give homage to that, right? Amazing invisibility. What is my best monster creature summon? That is a very difficult thing to answer, seeing as how I have so many. Um, Zedillion, or, or, um, yeah, Zedillion for the win. Yeah, Zedillion is such a fantastic quest. That's a good one too, Bukhari, right? So, I mean, we have summon Zalvi, which is like a vanilla thing, but we have other crazy crap. Like, flipping. What? I have some weird, weird stuff. Um, where's. Let me show you. We've got. Like, crazy things. Let me go out there and show you. Um. Oh, oh, it's not progression after level 100. It's fortified beyond Joe is crazy. So I have a lot of enchantments on me, like, right now. I mean, my fortify magicka, well, that's natural. But, like, I have, like, crazy enchantments. Okay, so, like, I have, like, weird summons. This is a wampa. And, like, I have crazy, crazy crap. And this is from Midas Magic. I think one of the most powerful ones are probably, like, the Shockmaster, which is, like... Where is he? Where is he? This guy, he casts some crazy spells, Ramhut. We also have... Fire Effort, which is crazy. It's, like, some giant... Demon Cat thing. And what else do we have? The Ice Siren is actually pretty powerful. That's one of our, our other more powerful summons. The Ice Siren. Then we have, like... Oh, we have freaking Optimus Prime, which is awesome. Come on, Optimus Prime. You gotta... To just... No, Optimus Prime, come on. There we go. And he transforms. I can just go, oh my gosh. Yeah, he goes super fast. And he transforms back. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, but let's see. I think my most powerful... I Siren's your favorite? <laughs> Finally dressed for the occasion? <laughs> Nice Siren's pretty cool. She doesn't move that quickly, though. But I think probably the most powerful one I have is actually, um... So where is it? Summon... 
let's see. Yeah, so yeah, there's I have some crazy stuff. Probably summon Balrog is my most powerful. Whoa, he's got some glitchy crap going on. So, just to give you a sense, this is a very weird thing. Yeah, my character does look like a Dark Brotherhood guy, I know, right? Um, yeah, yeah, the Balrog is probably my most powerful summon, but it's a weird summon. Only because it... It attacks everything. So what you do is you actually cast it on someone. He attacks that initial person, but if he's still alive, he'll just attack anything in sight. So if I just go like that, that's my Balrog. And apparently he just started attacking like whatever the hell he decided to start attacking. And now everything's angry. <laughs> so yeah, he's pretty awesome. Well, why Wampa doesn't even care? He does not even care. How's it going? Nothing much. Alright. So yeah, you can see there's some crazy stuff going on. <laughs> with my spells. Oh my gosh. And what's cool is unlike the uh, normal summons, these guys actually stay with you the entire time until they're killed, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let me just unsummon them. There we go. There we go. They're all unsummoned. Sweet. But yeah, I think he's the Balrog's the most powerful. It's just one I don't use that often because he most of the time attacks me as well. Don't let my Wampu get his arm chopped off by a lightsaber. I'll try not to. I'm the only one in all of, of Cyrodiil who actually has a lightsaber. What is the color of night? Alright, Sanguine, my brother. Sweet, I have gained entrance to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I must now speak with Ochiva. Cool. Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Ochiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucien has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Now, I've kept you long enough. The Chente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. Cool. Go now, dear Fanny. the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. I wish to welcome you to this sanctuary. So about my newest but welcome why, sister? Oh my gosh, that dude's in full danger. Why should anyone bother with all that Holy sneaking crap. and skulking? Get away from me. Go. Warmest greetings to you. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtieri. I provide assignments for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. Are his cheeks actually concave? Like, we'll have, to, we'll have to inspect his face afterwards, but that is actually, like, ridiculous. Like, is that like a satellite dish in his mouth? <laughs> Alright, um... Contract. A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold, and we remove someone from existence. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself who keeps the Dark Brotherhood's end of the bargain. 
so it has always been. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. Now, let's begin, shall we? I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship, surrounded by his crew. Interested? Yes, I'll accept this contract. Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Tussaud. <laughs> He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Tussaud in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight may prove invaluable. Cool. Yeah, Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Now, hopefully I can do this like I did this the first time that I did this quest ever. Which was actually incredible. Oh, I can't do it yet. Damn it. If you become a level 4 vampire, your cheeks are sunken in like that? That's a shame. We'll have to see if I recreate the situation I did the first time I played this. Because if we do, it's probably highlight worthy. It's probably the funniest thing that ever happened to me in, in all of Oblivion. <laughs> I hope it works out. Now, I'm not going to smuggle myself on board, <laughs> which is really cool. I really won't... It, this really is going to be effortless if I do this right. I'm essentially just going to jump on the back of the ship, where the captain's, like, his quarters is right there. So I'm going to hope to do that. And then if I get one good shot, I'll see what happens. I hope I made myself clear the first time. If you get near that ship, you'll end up dead. Now get out of my face! Shut up, lady. Do not hide in the crate. So yeah, if you can open a very hard lock, you can just get into the back of the ship. Now, I'm quick saving. Because I hope this works. And if the ragdolling goes well, it's going to be amazing. Oh, damn it, I gained entrance, but he's not on the... What in blazes? You're not supposed to be right there. Let's wait an hour and see if he sits at the table. He's supposed to be sitting right there. Let's see. Um, what time is it? 6 p.m. So yeah, he's probably going off to bed. We need to wait like... Three hours? 22 hours? When he sits down to eat? Or maybe breakfast. Well, watch the time. Okay, so yeah, he's probably off to bed now. Breakfast is probably at 8, so he might go at the dinner table, or, you know, whatever table it is again. Okay, we'll try 8. Quick save. Ah, I've gained access into the um, captain's cabin of the ship Maria Elena. Now I must kill Gaston. Okay, I hope this works. 
Because if it does, I'll be so happy. Cross your fingers. <laughs> yes. He's dead. Okay. That wasn't as big of an explosion as last time. Let me try that again. Oh my gosh. The first time I did this, his head friggin' slammed the table and everything flew off. I'm gonna see if I can't get a... a maybe I didn't move at all last time. Let's try this. He never got to finish his dinner. Alright, I'm gonna try from this angle. Okay. <laughs> no, we need a bigger slam. We need a bigger slam. Oh yeah, I should make a death spell too. I totally forgot about that. Next time we get like to my spell altar, we'll do that. We gotta, we gotta perfect this. Find the exact right angle where his head just slams on the table. Okay, quick save. His death is really hilarious. Right, maybe the top of the head, like right here. Nah, that wasn't good enough. Now we can do better than that. Like right here? Like the tip of the head right here? Oh! <laughs> uh, Alright, well we knocked the craft off the table. Everything didn't explode like it did last time. Let me try one more time. If I can do this, I'll be so happy. Right in the back of the head, slam the table, hit the plate, knock everything off. That is my plan. I just take that. And that's just... Ah! Well, okay. His head didn't slam like it did before, but that was pretty cool. Silver cutlass, though. That's pretty cool. And I'll take that lusty ergonium you made. Can I make that spell today? I'll try to make a crazy spell. I mean, I have 800 magicka, so we could do some crazy shit. I'm also a master of destruction. So we could make, like, the ultimate death spell. So, that's how you kill a pirate captain without anybody knowing. <laughs> and then we'll head back. There we go. I should probably just mark this location. Uh, yeah, you can write down the effects, Pecora. Yeah, sure. It was all you need to one-hit Minotaurs? That's pretty sweet. It is an up. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, tell me how you designed it. I'd like to. I'd like to hear. I'll probably do something to the effect of like some crazy amount of spell damage, and then adding weakness to it. Uh, what? There we go. There's a hole in the wall. <laughs> that was a very easy first quest. Just shoot him in the back of the head a couple times. Well, I mean, we did it for fun, just to see if we could knock everything off the table. So, the pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. Cool. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion. Cool. All right. So yeah, let's uh. You guys seem pretty interested, so why don't we do it right now? Um, what I'll do is I'll mark this location, right? Um, and that way we can always go back to it. Or we'll just go like this. Go to bed chamber. All 
All right, cool. Yeah, I'll do it right now. One thing I'd like to check, though, is... I do have a Grand Soul. There's something there. Um... It looks like we're all playing Oblivion. Um... I want to use an enchanter because I recently realized that me having 85 magical armor is pretty overpowered. Like, I've been hit before and people have asked me why I'm not getting hurt. I'm like, yeah, that actually is kind of ridiculous. So we're going to change that if I, if I can. And what I'd like to do is... Let's see. Was it the cape? Something's giving me some crazy thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of the cape. Or at least do something else with the cape and see what happens. We'll quick save first. Well, what I'll do is is I'll do something like permanent chameleon or something like that. Hey, Trizadi, how's it going? Uh, but yeah, I was thinking of at least reducing my armor by 50. <laughs> that sounds fair, doesn't it? Um, I mean, my character's supposed to be, you know unarmored, but you know, it kind of defeats the purpose if I just enchant myself with armor. Hold your chatty fingers while I write this. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see, I need a disenchant spell. Actually, do I have any reserve capes in here? I might have some. There's an Alessia cape. It'd be under C, wouldn't it? Oh, it's not here. Okay, so let me just quick save. We'll use the disenchant spell. Where is it? It's alphabetical order. Why don't I always ask myself that? Oh, you use Paralyze on it, too? That's crazy. Uh, so, Tail, I think, is what I'm looking for. And that should disenchant my cloak. Let me just, uh, check... Let me check what crazy crap I have here. I have some crazy crap in here, holy shit. Um, let me check my sigil stones. It's frost shield. Maybe normal shield would be a better option? I don't know. There's something that gives me chameleon. Resist normal weapons and sneak. That's decent. Rune skull of darkness. I'll just take that out just to compare. And Soul Trap, nice. Soul Trap would be awesome. Alright, so I'm just taking a look here to see what will be good. Enfeeblement has shield. I'm looking for anything that has just normal shield or chameleon. There's Chameleon and Night Eye. Don't want permanent Night Eye. That would be terrible. Okay. Still more? Oh my gosh. I've collected a lot of these over our adventures. No, I see I see him before. It's cool. Rune School of Spirit. Rune School of Spirit's crazy. Okay. Let's resist fire and stuff like that. I think we're good. So I'll just keep those two in my inventory just so I can compare for other rune skulls. Um, so, for instance, if I used this on my cape, then I have a cape of darkness, and that would actually be pretty good. I'll look for a dark, a better darkness one, but it's pretty good for now. What does Enfeeblement do? That's Spell Absorption and Strength. That's really cool, too. 
Yes, you may let go of your chatty fingers. Yes, you fall. Um, actually, let me quick load. We don't need to actually save that. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll make a spell then. So darkness and enfeeblement are the rune skulls I'd be looking for. All right, so let's craft this death spell. Okay, so we have damage health. At first, whoa! At first, we're just gonna do on target. Duration of two seconds. And for right now, I'm just going to make it 25, just to see what we can do. Uh, let's see. So I've done damage health. I'd kind of like to even put in disintegrate armor and disintegrate weapon, but we'll put that near the end, I guess. Fire damage on target. Two seconds, 25 for right now. <laughs> That's too funny. Yes, I have the unique ability to scroll up and look at past things in my chat. It's it's true wizardry at its finest. Uh, 25. There we go. What the hell? Ladybugs are crazy. One freaking bit me last time I streamed. Really, if I cast damage health on a dead body, it makes them fly? I'm all into that. Alright, target, two seconds. I mean, we'll raise this as need be, because we can literally make this, like, the most expensive thing in the world. As long as it's not over 800 Magicka, we should be okay. Uh, so let's see. I think what I'll do now is I'll add all the weaknesses I need. So we'll do weakness to fire on touch. Magnitude 100 for 5 seconds. Oh, not touch. Derp. Target. You have 33 for 3 seconds, and you got less magic. Okay, we'll have to check it out. Oh, yes, and paralyzed. <laughs> ah, thanks for the follow. Are for a for. A foray? Is it a foray? Is it the PH? Let me know how to pronounce it. Is a foray correct? Let me know. Um, but thanks for the follow. Alright, uh, then we'll also do... Yeah, more weakness. It's weakness to fire. Weakness to frost. On target. Five seconds. We should maybe add an area of effect. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be fun. We'll see how that works. So right now it costs 200 magica. Weakness to shock. Ah, you're French. Gotcha. <laughs> cool. Welcome. I don't know much French, so I can't really like. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna try and embarrass myself. I mean, I embarrass myself all the time. So <laughs> let's see. All right. Then we'll add the other crazy stuff. So we'll add. I definitely want to add Disintegrate Armor on target. Definitely Disintegrate Weapons on target. Y you can't do a duration, which is interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. So we got disintegrate armor, disintegrate weapon. F. Oh, is it that fan? Is it is it how Phantom pronounced it? I need AOE because it makes them fly. Because the game can't handle the power. Awesome. Okay, so we'll have to add AOE to all this. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. I never thought of, of yeah, actually practicing uh, practicing English by watching an English stream. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we're adding area of effect to all of these. I'm a little worried. The Magicka cost is getting obscene right now. But I am happy with this. Uh, 
So it's Afior. Af Arf Arfior? Arfior? Cool. Yeah, well, 10, 10 AoE is the, the best we can actually, or the l least we can do, which is very strange. I don't know why, but 10 is what we can do. Wait, you have 600 area? You must have a mod that does that. That's pretty cool. Alright, 10. Maybe the destruction stuff, um. Okay, cool. So it's how it's how um it's how Phantom pronounced it. Gotcha. Arfior. Gotcha. Sweet. I'm learning every day. Um <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm going to delete these because I think these cost a lot of match guess. So let's see. If I delete them, yeah, it brings it down a lot. Um, plus, we really don't need to get rid of their armor, to be honest. We'll be fine. Alright. Um, just checking that everything's area 10 because we have a lot of spells to check here. Okay, we got 10 everything there. 10... 10. 10. Okay, we're good. Yeah, well, I'll, well, I'll, I'll add Paralyze then. That makes more sense. Yeah, the Disintegrated Armor, if I'm gonna kill someone with a spell, I might as well kill someone with a spell. Who even cares how much armor they have, right? Um, let's do this. We'll paralyze. Should I do like five seconds on target area of effect? Sounds pretty good. Cool. All right. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. So let's see, we've got that, then we'll do weakness to magic at the bottom. On target, 10, 100 for 5 seconds. Alright, that's 600. Is there anything else cool we could add? Like... Like fortify... What if we do this, though? What if we fortify my own destruction right when i cast this spell on self 100 for five seconds wouldn't that then decrease the value of the spell if not what am i sacrificing like friggin just a couple magicka that seems fine all right um the only issue i'm seeing right now is that in order for weakness to actually take effect, um, it needs to be cast a second time. Oh, so it doesn't matter? Okay, so let's delete it then. Alright, I just thought that'd be cool if that was an actual thing. Um, but yeah. But yeah, my only issue right now is that in order to get the full effect, I would need to have a lot more magicka to work with. Um, technically... We can do it. Technically, we can. Absorb health. Mmm, absorb health. That might be a good one. You're right about that. Just in case something goes terribly wrong, right? Uh, so, we'll get rid of weakness to magic at the bottom, because apparently putting weakness to magic at the bottom's the best thing. Delete the damage health. Why? It's just another element, right? It's buggy in this game? Well, I don't see why it couldn't be cool, though. Oh my gosh! Okay, so that's bad. 
Did you just that was the it jumped up like crazy. So I could absorb like 50 health. Holy shit. And we'll do weakness to match again. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Okay, now it's 700 magicka. You know what though? You know what? I have an item from Morrowind, and if I use it, it'll actually work. Uh, no absorb health, just keep the fire frost in shock. Hmm. certain the Seerx. Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. It might actually be able to let me cast stuff more, you're right. Yeah. I might as well save what I can. So, here's my thinking. My character can possibly have 300... 3,000 Magicka. It is at the cost of me actually having sun damage, but I think it would be really freaking cool. So, we're gonna do it. So, in that case... I just need this to be under 1500. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go all the way. As long as we're below 1500, we are fine. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. Yes, I'm going to use the robe. Yes. That is the plan. Oh gosh, even raising it to three is ridiculous. Okay. I think this is what we can do. So this will be... an ass ton of damage. <laughs> Like, it'll be 800 damage, and then I cast it a second time and multiply by two. And then I'll have a little bit of magical left over for just shenanigans, I guess. Um, okay. Really no damage health? I think we gotta keep it. We gotta go for it. Just increase the duration of, of Fire Frost and Shock. I think we'll be fine, though. Believe you, damage health sucks? I don't know. It's worked for me in the past, though. If it really is a problem, we can remake this spell pretty quickly. Because I actually know what I'm doing now. So we'll just call this... Ultimate Death Spell. Or just call it Ultimate Death. You never played a Wizard in Oblivion? It's actually pretty cool, since you can actually customize your own spells. <laughs> After all that, you're just curious. I'm not gonna go creative with this, I'm just gonna call this Ultimate Death. <laughs> hey, Poopy Head, how's it going? So we'll create a spell. So we have... On Target... Ultimate Death. I don't have enough Magicka. Well, we can solve that. Oh boy. Because we have the Mantle of Woe. The Mantle of Woe has Fortify Magicka Multiplier. 50 points on self. It'll also drain my personality a ton. No better explanation than plain old death. <laughs> <laughs> Name it something funny like completely harmless unicorn spell. That'd be something. Alright, so what we're gonna do is... A very strange thing. I'm going to go into town. And see if I can't buy like a loot. Or something like that. So let me do that. We're gonna go like this. From where I came from. You want to make a spell called Pedro? 
<laughs> That'd be a nice spell. Oh, let's see. We'll go to the Sivri, um, Cyrodiil map. What am I saying? All right, and then mm, Market District. Basically, what I'm looking for is, uh, for some reason, I have a spell or, or I have an item called a loot. And it actually counts as like another equipment slot, so we're just gonna get rid of that and replace it with uh, Mantle of Woe's Enchantment. Maybe you can teach me something. Oh, really? Certainly, serious. Yeah, I'll probably find like loots or juggling balls. Like, there's a few different items you can do. Oh yeah, Bakor, you were telling me about that, like that self paralysis what spell. What can I do for you? It's pretty funny. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Alright, what do you have? He's a hundred dw uh, dwarf dwemer arrows, that's pretty cool. You have nothing! You have a trash can. Take care. Interesting. Okay, check around. We're basically looking for a different equipment slot item. Feel free to. She's got an ugly face. I'll buy just about anything for the right price. Okay, um, explosive charges, basket, bear pelts, clay cuffs, hose, jars, rakes, shovels. Nope. Bear the way. Hmm. I don't know if I can. You know, I think I can. Let's do this then. We'll. I forgot, I can do it. Okay. We'll do this then. Astral Recall. As opposed to finding a new one, we'll just disenchant this one. Make a paintbrush ladder. Uh, where was it? Topaz? There we go. A Kapir Warblade Nergasm. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. This is the Enchantment Splitter. Um, which is a really amazing mod. <laughs> oh jeez phantom so yeah we made um the ultimate death spell while you were gone um it's insane um and basically what we decided was we're going to take the enchantment from the mantle of woe and put it on one of my items so what we're going to do is we're going to put in um we'll put the cape of lucifer in there and we'll put in the mantle of woe. And what's this? What it's gonna do is if we cast dispel. Where is it? On target. Gosh, I have so many spells. Go, spell other. Let me quick save. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Oh, cool, certainly, Cyrix. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so let's see if this works. So we've got... Uh, both of these are disenchanted, and we have an er inverted sigil stone with both of the enchantments we have. So now we can re-enchant our cape. So if we go here, we have the inverted sigil stone. Now this is going to be insane because my personality is going to take a huge drop. Um, but we can always equip it and not equip it. I've seen it been played, uh, certainly, Cyrix. I have. Um, so let's do. Um, this will be the. Yeah, this will be the Cape of Woe. Duplicate them? No, I'm not going to duplicate them. I mean, we're, we have the items, so it's not a huge issue. Okay, now if I put on this cape... We should have... 4,000 Magicka. My bad! We have 4,000 Magicka. I like this. 
I like this a lot. Granted, my personality is terrible. We're going to need to find some stuff. Oh, really, DJ Gamer? Let me let me know what it is, because I I would like to be interested in that. So yeah, we're going to have to figure out... I might have to cast the Billy Mays spell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's the... Um, here, let me show you. It's the Enchantment Multiplier 50 from Mantle of Woe that we got in More Oblivion. But I mean, we're, we're weaker to normal weapons. We take 20 sun damage. So, I mean, this is a bit of a, of a, you know, sacrifice here. For instance, I probably can't wait outside during the daytime. That won't happen. I would probably just die. We'll have to see how bad this is. Oof! It's really effing bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, gosh. Uh, but I should be able to cast this spell. Um... <laughs> Oh my, that might have been a bad choice. That might have been a bad choice. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, if, if there was realistic hatred, yeah, everybody would attack me. You're right about that. DJ Gamer, let me know what that mod is, because I might need it for this uh, cape. For now, I'm going to unequip it. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, uh, Lezard12. Thank you. <laughs> So for now, we won't wear that cape, because I'll just die. <laughs> and I don't want that. Uh, Alright, let's continue our quest again. Let's see. I must accept a quest. Cool. I'll try to figure out how to uh, customize that a bit better later. In caves, we can totally get away with it, right? Because we won't need to have any personality. There's The sun's not out. So we can totally get away with it. Just, we'll have to take it on and off. Or die. Fight well. Yeah, or, yeah, be a night guy. It is an honor. It's true, I could just do that. But I'm going to need to talk to NPCs eventually, right? So... <laughs> Here we go. Sweet. By the way, the enchantment is from More Oblivion, which is Morwind recreated in the Oblivion's engine. Um, it's really sweet. Yeah, I can always hotkey it too, you're right about that. Mm -hmm. Vincent? How are you? Oh, he's upstairs. Jeez. In the living quarters. Oh, it's probably... Your vampire who lives in a cave, you shouldn't be sleeping. Excuse me, brother. Can you spare a moment? I'm glad you've returned. The contract is waiting, if you're ready. Oh gosh, try not to take it off. That's going to be a challenge. I don't know. Contract. We need you to stage an accident. Kill the target in the manner specified, and you'll receive a considerable bonus. Do you accept this contract? Yeah, sure. All right. I guess I'll accept the contract. As I expected. Good. The target is a wood elf named Bainlin. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favorite chair. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. <laughs> if Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Now go. And may Sithis be with you. This is one of the coolest ones. Alright, let me uh, get that link. Thanks, DJ Gamer. I can always count on you. Copy. Paste. Sweet. Alright, let's head out then. Actually, what we'll do is we'll just teleport from my towers, right? Go to... 
a landing pad? That sounds good. Oh <laughs> yeah, there's my Oblivion portal. Awesome. Alright, go to Bruma. I love this quest. Yeah, that is kind of creepy how they know specifically when he sits in his chair at night. Very, very creepy. <laughs> but, you know, they have to do reconnaissance and, you know, creep through the windows and stuff. There we go. <laughs> they were peeping in his window. Yes, exactly, DJ Gamer. That's that's what it is, is the 100, yeah, personality and, and the, uh, yeah, the sun damage is supposed to counteract the extremely overpowered boosted magicka. You're right about that. Okay, between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. All right, so there's apparently... All right, we'll head up this way. Quick save. I've got, um... A chameleon spell I can use. I think it's 25 for 30 seconds. So I gotta find the crawl space. So that's the mount, I think. Oh my gosh, he's right effing there. Okay, and. Ooh! Crawl space door. It's, who sits in a chair for three hours doing nothing. Um, um, Afiori, um, we're actually, I'm actually in, um, um, I'm not from England, I'm, uh, I'm from the USA. Uh, Pennsylvania, to be precise. Alright, so he's down there. Let's do it. Yes, remove the fastenings. <laughs> the mounted head has fallen on Balin, killing him as expected. Uh, I must return to the sanctuary and speak with uh, Vincent Feltieri to receive my reward. Oh boy. Okay. I want to be careful of this manservant. That did sound painful. Uh, yes, Bakora. Yes. Yeah. I would probably join the Dark Brother. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> I like how your reactions. Yeah, America, fuck yes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That's hilarious. Of course, you could probably ask me that about pretty much any guild quest. And I'd be like, sure, I'll do it. You'd even be a beggar in the waterfront if need be. <laughs> Just to be in Tamriel. That's hilarious. Oh yeah, I can teleport back. Let me do that. Oh gosh, DJ Gamer. Yeah, if you if you came in with the knowledge, right, of the lore in the Ooh, background, then you'd like then yeah, that would happen like immediately. <laughs> That'd be pretty hilarious. Good morning. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. Awesome. Awesome before you. Awesome. Alright, uh, from where I came from. That should get me underground, actually. Which is nice. <laughs> Alright, he's right over here. No? Where's Vincent? Vincent? Where are you at? You in here? No Chivas quarters? Well 
So. So you heard? Yes, yes, it was quite the debacle. The head just wouldn't sever. Cut, saw, hack. My citizen. This must be how Argonians sleep. <laughs> Let me quick save. Just to see what happens if I wake her up. I wonder if she's gonna do like a break dance if I try to wake her. Oh my gosh, I can't even wake her up. Can I sleep in this? Oh my gosh, I can sleep in this bed. Because apparently it doesn't count as her occupying it. Because she's like doing some crazy planking. <laughs> Let's sleep in it. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Would you... <laughs> Oh man, we just slept with Ochiba, guys. It happened. He's looking freaky. So, the accident has been staged and Bainlin lies dead. Well done. You have more than earned your reward and bonus. I present to you this dagger. It's an enchanted blade known as Suffathorn. Its prick is deadly, I assure you. Yes, you are quite an asset to this sanctuary. In fact, I believe you are ready for advancement. I hereby appoint you Slayer. Well done. <laughs> hey, NASA. Now go, child of Sithis. Go and rest. You'll need it. Okay. Actually, I just want the contract. <laughs> Both. Back for more? It just so happens I have another contract available, one that requires an expert in infiltration. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much the same, Bakora, yeah. I would... I maybe wouldn't hug everybody, but I'd definitely study Magicka first if I was in Tamriel. Uh, of course, I would gladly accept it. As always, you fail to disappoint me. Your target is a dark elf named Valen Dreth. He thinks he's safe in prison. He is tragically mistaken. A prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected to the Imperial City's sewer system. It's a perfect way inside. Just outside the Imperial prison is a grating that leads to the sewers. It has recently been tightly locked, but I will provide a key. It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? <laughs> Valendreth has been imprisoned for many years. His tongue is sharp, but his body is limp and frail. He will prove an easy, pleasurable kill. You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison guards. Now go, and may the Night Mother go with you. Cool. You'd get the Amulet of Shadows. Uh. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, if Temuril was real, you'd just like raid like every good place in Morrowind. Holy shit, yeah, that'd be amazing. Um. Go to the landing pad. <laughs> oh, oh. oh gosh! Oh man, you know what it's time for? It's time to try out this freaking spell. It's gonna be awful, because I might die. But we're gonna freaking do it. Yeah, don't ever laugh ever again, Vincente. No, just don't. He was... he's crazy. Ultimate death. Now... Ah! What's crazy about that spell now? I just realized that. I can cast it four times. I can cast it four times. Also, my magic regeneration is pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, my health. Ooh! Aw, oh shit, there's more. Oh, I can't use that spell. Lightning streak. It's not doing what I want. Let's go for... Megavolt. Where's Megavolt at? I need to go through these again and delete some of the ones I don't use as much. 
Mega Volt. Is Mega Volt not on target? What the hell? There's Mega Volt. That worked out. Yeah, F the nuke spell. Oh, Mega Volt, Volt is so fantastic. Bog Ogre? Huh. Weird. Okay. <laughs> Awesome, Hifiori. All right. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. All right, let's see. So now that we've attacked a few things, let's go to the Imperial Prison Sewer, which apparently we can't go to quite yet. All right. Probably going to be attacked immediately. No, I won't be. Okay, never mind. I am worried, just slightly. <laughs> hey, Night Leon, how's it going? <laughs> Initiates battle cry and stomps in the stream. Awesome. Now, is the Imperial City. Like, is it gonna be open from now on since I just opened it? Or is it gonna close behind me again? I don't know. I have entered the sewers beneath the Imperial uh, prison. I must now proceed through the sewers um, and into the prison itself and kill Vale and Dref. Alright. Sweet. Oh, hey. This was never open. At least when I escaped, it wasn't. Door to sewers. Is this normal? Let me just check the map here. I don't remember this. This is your second favorite Dark Brother quest for personal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Everybody wanted to kill this guy in the beginning, right? Hmm. Mud crabs and stuff going after me. Open that up. Uh, you might be right about that. Yeah, announced wise, that might be true. You're right. I'm working on getting a new bot set up. Not with some crazy crap, but you know, at least something. What the hell? Can't I just go up the normal way? The dialogue options make it even better. It's been a- it actually has been a long time since I've actually had like a massive troll on my channel. Like, I think, like, the latest one was like, gosh. It was someone that came in to my stream and went oblivion is shit, and that's all he said. And you were there, you're there, Phantom, like that, it, it really does not happen all that often. Which is really cool. No, consider it, Picor, I'll consider it. Let's see. I've never been in these sewers, I don't know if there's anything to be gained through these sewers, but heck, I'm here, right? It can't be opened right away. I can't see. <laughs> I 
The Sanctum? What? What the hell's the Sanctum? What the hell is this? <laughs> the <PRP> sword. <laughs> of course I'm proud to do my duty, but it's a waste of time. What are we guarding? Cold stone and shadow. That's it. Alright. Everybody? I'm not disagreeing with you, believe me. Those assassins got what they wanted. The Emperor is dead. Well shit. That did not work. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Ain't got no reason to come back. I got a lot of nice people that come to my channel. It's really cool. Um, blink is the only invisibility spell I have. That's exactly what I'm saying. But will the captain listen? No. We must have I think it's enough, though. I only need five seconds of invisibility to get past those guys. Wear the cape? Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know about that. The, the, the thing is, you don't kill the guards. That's that's the goal, at least. Shies. This actually works pretty well. That's what I need to do. I need to go to more Oblivion and get the locking spell. So I have chameleon and invisibility on. Well, well, look who we've got here. Well, well, who's there? Look who we've got here. I have to admit, I'm gonna miss you, Treff. Late night meeting, cries for help. Filthy cur. I told you I was going to get out of here. My time is almost up. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, what? Seven, eight years? We've had a good long run. I always knew that was something. Eleven. Eleven years of this rat infested all. But I'm getting out, and you'll still be stuck in here. Yeah! <laughs> Illusion skill increased. Poor guy has absolutely no idea what the hell's going on down there. Now can I? Doesn't look like I can close that door again. This guy's super annoying. Maybe we can let's let's lead this guy somewhere else. Oh, I thought that was going to be open. <laughs> yeah, he's still harassing people. It's about to be let out of jail and he's still harassing people. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I do have a spell I think might work with this. 
Uh, Rune of Warding. If it's a fight you want, oh crap, it doesn't work. Okay, Rune of Warding, and then probably Blink, maybe? I don't know. This guy really messed me up. Or, like, this whole situation. Oh my gosh, I think we did it. Yes! Okay, cool. So the Rune of Warding actually, like, caused him to just, like, like, back up and lose interest in it. Awesome. I've got to get better, like, illusion spells. Alright. Get over the door. Nobody's here. Wait! I, I know you! You, you're the one! The, the day the Emperor was killed! They went through your cell! You lucky bastard! But you came back? Come on! You've got to help me! Let old Valen out of this cell! You've got your freedom, now give me mine! What do you say, huh? Come on, friend! You're going to die in here. What? You filthy little maggot! When I get out of here, you're dead! You hear me? Dead! <laughs> oh, I have a spell for you. I have a spell for you. How about a little of this? A villain Dreth is dead and no guards have been killed. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with Vincent Valdieri to receive my reward and well bonus. Yes. And I've done something crazy to his arm as well. Let's see, does he have, he doesn't have anything. What the hell is going on? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Let's just go out the front door. Screw it. Actually, I do have... Oh, I need a key. Come on now. Really? Oh, I can teleport. Derp. Well, first, uh, I don't know why the... Maybe if you go up earlier, maybe the door's unlocked? I don't know. Um, go to my bedchamber. That was the wrong place to go, but that's okay. Um, heck, let's level up anyway. Right, we're here. Alright, we'll increase our strength, our endurance, and our speed. Because personality I don't care about. Speed is at 69, it's perfect. And willpower doesn't do anything for me. I'm now level 34. Alright, cool. Now, oh, I do want to head to more Oblivion for just a second, because I would love to get a lock spell. Um, do I have that... Do I have recall? Yeah, I do have Morrowind recall. My skill is too low. Okay. I have Midas Magic Recall, which I think I marked in more Oblivion. Was it red? <laughs> you heard Valendreth has a fiery temper? Well, I just went nuclear on his ass. <laughs> Alright, I think Caldera has a lock spell. Because that would be amazing if I could just lock a door. 
Like that would that would have stopped that guy immediately. If I could just lock that door behind me with a spell. Did the loading bar go backwards for a second? That was kind of weird. Hmm. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I could have done ultimate death. Yeah, you're right about that. You're right, I could have. And it was indoors too, yeah, I just totally forgot about it really. <laughs> Normally when I think of my most powerful spell, it's usually um, the nuclear speller. It, it, this spell is going to be new to me, especially since I need to equip an item in order to use it, but I'll have to see. Hello. Teleport. Good evening. Test. Thanks for asking. Surrounded to the north and east by right. the lofty Gerald and Ballas Mountain. Travel to Calder. Shopping for enchantments. Uh, I think someone Hello. downstairs. Sells You've seen it. way shrines in the wilderness? <laughs> yeah, Phantom, I know, right? All right. Greetings, Outlander. Do you seek my services? Yeah, there we go. Benric's door jam. Sweet. Thank you. Move How along, goes? Outlet. Fantastic. Thanks for asking. And we'll just go to the landing pad. Great. It'll come in handy, that spell. <laughs> just in case I need to lock doors behind me. And then we'll just go back to... Uh... Yeah, Jaden Mall. down and see what our next quest is. I can't wait to unlock that well because it's such a faster way to get down here. I hate that you have to use that door every single time. There you are. So. You infiltrated the Imperial prison, eliminated Veil and Dress, and killed not one guard. Most excellent. In addition to your standard reward, I present to you this bonus. Behold, the Scales of Pitiless Justice. While carried, the Scales will magically enhance your strength, intelligence, and agility, but diminish your personality. A powerful tool indeed. Uh, usually what I do is I, I do <clears throat> delete some older saves, but for instance, um, just to keep things, like, uh, for this series at least, I deleted a couple saves because I had, I had two files going on here at once and it would get confusing, like, what was what, so usually I would delete, like, I would keep, like, two solid saves and some, like, backups, but yeah. <laughs> nice, nightly on nice. More fortify intelligence. Yeah, what's my uh, magicka now? Eight hundred forty-four. I like it. One hundred forty. If it isn't the newest member of the family, let's get one thing straight: the tenants prevent me from killing you, but I don't have to like you. I'll sell you equipment, but only because Ochiva is making me. This family doesn't need any... outsiders. Hmm. Alright. Foul-smelling ape. What an asshole. Is Ochiva sleeping on the right side of the bed? Oh, there we go. She's, she's alright. I have a special contract that needs fulfillment. In truth, I don't wish to offer it to any other family member. I've come to rely on your abilities. Okay, cool. <laughs> Come on. 
contract. We're usually called upon to take a life, but not this time. This contract requires us to stage the assassination of a marked man. Are you ready? Named Skelter Guardian? I think he is named. I forget what it is. I'm ready, I accept. You must go to the city of Coral and break into the house of Francois Mottieri. Inside you will find Mottieri waiting for you. Do not kill him. You see, Francois Mottieri is a marked man. He owes a considerable sum to the wrong kind of people, so they have sent an enforcer to kill him. Here. You will use this specially poisoned knife to stage Mottieri's death in the enforcer's presence. Mottieri himself will provide more details. This is an unusual contract. Mottieri had to make a special arrangement with us before it was approved. I trust in your professionalism. Okay, cool. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. What's his name? Oh, Dark Guardian. Hmm. I didn't know you could rename people through console. That's pretty cool. Achieva's been bed trained. Or Billy, but that's kind of where used. Right. Langer Wine, Blade, and Antidote. Interesting. Um, go to the landing pad. Sten the Skeleton. We'll think of a name before we come back. Alright, so, go to Coral. Cool. What about Steve the Skeleton? Steve the Sel Skeleton sounds pretty good. No, I really like my cape. I might do some finicky enchanting stuff off camera to get my cape back and stuff like that. And tr try like disenchanting like my other stuff. We'll have to see how it goes. Technically, I have a broken one, so I can enter. <laughs> oh, well, um, hello. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I've been expecting you. We haven't got much time, I'm afraid. I borrowed quite a bit of gold from some underworld types. I, uh, I missed a payment. Now they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. They've sent an enforcer to kill me. His name is Hides Heart, and he's on his way here now. That's why I hired you. So you can fake my death. Um... Say nothing. When... when Hides' heart gets here, I'll put on a little act. You'll cut me with your poison knife, and that idiot will think I'm dead, okay? After that, you must flee from Coral, and Hides' heart must not be killed. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. If you wait a day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. You can come to me then and administer the antidote. Got all that? Good. Hides his heart will be here any moment. Get ready. Oh, I do hope this works. Now, this will actually... We have to do this, unfortunately. Um, we have only had to use melee one other time in the series. Um, and that was for... Uh, what? There was like a part in Knights of the Nine Revelations that we need to use hand-to-hand -hand combat. So this will be the second time in our series that we'll ever use a melee weapon. Mottieri, I know you're in there. My employers are mostly I'm coming in, and you can beg for your life. <laughs> Nothing will do you any good. <laughs> Mottiera, I am here to exact payment in blood. You will... Eh? Who is this? Oh no! What am I to do? An underworld enforcer and a dark brotherhood assassin, both here to kill poor Francois. <laughs> the dark brotherhood? Oh, you have been a naughty boy, Motiere, haven't you? Stand aside, assassin. Motiere is mine. My employers demand it. 
Ah, what's this? Oh, Dark Brotherhood Assassin, please don't cut me with that wicked blade. It looks like this is the end of poor Francois. We'll see who gets to cut you, Motier. Let me show you how a real killer operates. What's that? Ah! Look out! Getting tired. Ah! Mortier has been slashed with the uh, Langerwine blade and appears to have died from the wound as expected. I must now flee from Coral and leave Hides' his heart alive. Ah! Ah! Woo! Francois doesn't know Mark and Recall. I know. He could be out of there in a second. Uh oh. Oh, they're attacking Hides' his heart. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh yeah, technically I could use Mark and Recall too. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. I don't know. I have fled Coral and Hides' heart has not been killed. I must now uh, wait a day so Mortiari can be discovered and placed in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. There I must find Mortiari, administer the antidote, and that will revive him. I like all I had to do was leave the city. It's kind of nice. Alright, we'll wait a day. Sweet. All right. This menu is so slow. Of all the things in Oblivion, like vanilla wise, this is one of the things that annoys me. Especially as a streamer, right? Because I want this shit to get done. <laughs> I don't need to actually wait, you know, a minute to have 24 hours go by. That's just painful. Go back to Coral. Scully the Skeleton? It's pretty nice, pretty nice. My bow was way higher on my back than it was. That was interesting. Yes, I did Phantom. Yeah, we did figure out the thing with Oriole's bow. Oh, I should I should highlight that, probably, because that was actually really cool. It took me a while to get the angle right, but eventually I was able to actually shoot the uh, Sun Hollowed Arrow at the sun, and then crazy shit went down. It was amazing. Although I don't remember how many episodes ago that was, so me highlighting that's going to be a tiny bit difficult. <laughs> Only because I don't remember exactly how many episodes ago it happened. Oh, there he is. I've ministered the Langerwine Antidote, um, and Francois Mutieri has awakened from his poison-induced sleep. I should now speak with him and make sure he's well enough to travel to the Grey Mare. There we go. <laughs> I was worried he was, he was not waking up. Oh, I'm a bit stiff, but quite fine otherwise. Ah, yes, the Undercroft. My family members are buried here, you know. Which um, leads me to something I may have failed to mention before. My ancestors will see my revival as a desecration of their tomb. This Undercroft is, well, quite cursed. Any desecration will cause my ancestors to rise from their graves and defend their resting place. I can hear them coming as we speak. You must protect me. Escort me to the Grey Mare where I can buy passage out of Coral. Ah, here they come. Oh, my Aunt Margaret. You're looking the worse for wear. Oh shit. No! Aunt Margaret! <laughs> well, that was easy. Cool. <laughs> was that it? Just your Aunt Margaret? Oh no, there's another one. Oh, it's still alive. Hello, fellow magician.
Oh, we can always visit it, Bakora, right? It is weird, though, right? At an end of an adventure, right? All your work goes into a character, and then you, like, max it out and do all the quests. Yeah. You'd be terrified if you saw, yeah, a zombified family member? Yeah. I wouldn't react well to it. Hello, fellow I don't even Jesus. like zombies. <laughs> This dude seems to run fine, so... For a dude who just woke up from being... You know... Dead, mostly. There we go. Ah, the Grey Mare. Coral's finest repository of wine, women, and song. Is it, though? I see no women. Annoying creature. Is something I can do for you? Did you hear? The lost... Do I just talk Ah, to you? the Grey Mare. From here I will be able to arrange for transportation out of Cyrodiil. You have served me well, assassin. Francois is forever in your debt. Farewell. Okay, cool. <laughs> you would think of it as your duty to put them back to rest? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go from where I came from and hopefully that should be in the Dark Brothers Sanctuary. Yes. Awesome. That really cuts out on travel time. Ah, so Mottieri has escaped. Well done. As payment, I am pleased to award you this amulet, Cruelty's Heart, as well as another advancement in rank. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Eliminator. Your blood is cold, your heart hard. You exemplify everything the Dark Brotherhood stands for. I present to you now this key. It unlocks the well behind the abandoned house above. Use it to gain hidden, quick access to this sanctuary. Awesome. More contracts. Well, you are an ambitious one, aren't you? I'm afraid I have no more contracts for you. Our time working together has come to an end. Instead, you must report to Ochiva here in the sanctuary. She will be providing all your contracts from now on and is waiting for you as we speak. Okay, cool. Before you go, however, I intend to make good on an offer I made some time ago. As a vampire, I may pass my gift on to others as I see fit. You have served me well, and I choose now to extend that gift to you. Shall I use my dark powers and turn you into a vampire? No, man, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Not right now, thank you. Yes, I can understand your trepidation. For it is not every day one is invited to join the ranks of the undead, eh? If you ever change your mind, fear not. My offer will always be open. Simply return and speak to me about the dark gift, and we can proceed. <laughs> He's a creepy, creepy dude. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, night, Leon. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Oh gosh, Bakora, that's crazy. That's crazy. All right, so we gotta talk to Ochiva. He had full Daedric when we saw him in the hallway last. I'm a little confused. Ah, greetings. I have been waiting for you. As Vicente surely told you, your time working with him has come to an end. From now on, you will receive all assignments directly from me. In fact, your next contract is available now. Sweet. What is it? In the Imperial City, there lives a high elf who must be removed from existence. Finding this person may prove challenging. Are you interested? Um, 
always exit the country. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Your target is a high elf named Phalian. He lives somewhere in the Imperial City and fancies long walks. Unfortunately, that's all we know. We don't know which district he calls home, which establishments he frequents, or anything about his schedule. This contract will require a bit of detective work. I suggest you speak to your fellow brothers and sisters and see if they can offer any advice. Hmm. Ah, yes, there is one more thing. The Imperial City is also home to an Imperial Legion captain named Adamus Philida. Do you know who that is? No, I haven't heard of him. Philida has dedicated his life to eradicating the Dark Brotherhood, and he becomes rather irate when our duties take us to the Imperial City. When that happens, he tends to make our lives uncomfortable. Let's not give the good captain any reason to go poking around in our affairs, hmm? If possible, do away with Phalian someplace out of the way, definitely indoors with no other people around. A secure location, with no witnesses. This will make it look like a simple murder. Philida will be none the wiser, and you'll receive a nice bonus. Now go, and may Slithus go with you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me ask this dude, since he downgraded his armor. Welcome! Welcome to the family! I'd hug you, but Ochiva told me not to. <laughs> Contra. Now this is what I'm talking about. You kill him up close, face to face, and you still get the bonus. <laughs> I wish all the contracts were like that. <laughs> <You're ca> <laughs> well, I guess, I guess you're French, so you can say that. <laughs> How's it going, Fury? How's it going? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Happy hunting, my brother. <clears throat> you play, do you tend to play shadow caskers? Let's see. Let's see if we can ask anybody else. That guy didn't tell me anything useful. I've Welcome, brother. So good to finally meet you. I hope you're getting along all right. Oh, cool nightly and awesome. Know what I'd do? Talk to Phalian, learn who he is. Maybe then you can lead him to a secluded place. Then, when you're alone, you know. <laughs> well, she's creepy. Good luck, brother. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> I mean, well, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go for the landing pad. <laughs> yeah, she's very creepy. Very creepy lady. Hmm, cool. Character adjustment. That's pretty awesome. Apparently it wants me to go to the market district. Overpowered quest markers? Maybe? <laughs> Telling me where a person is who I shouldn't know where the person is? You know. That's freaky. Why can't anyone in the Dark Brotherhood laugh normally? I mean, they do kill people for a living. So, yeah. Ooh. Please be generous, kind sir. No, oh, you don't know anything. Blessings of Stendhal upon you. It's what's weird is the map marker was there. That's weird. You know, ask him about the <laughs> sailor's knife. 